Hello there. Are you ready? Are you ready to go to Dingo's and go for some good old home cooking? I know I am. So I turned on my PlayStation 4, and I'm playing some Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. It's about time we got some good old-fashioned home cooking. Yes, but before we do, we have to wait for it to cook, and that's where the loading screen comes in. The loading screen is long. And the black, the black is also long. You can see the black right now, yes. I'm starved. Wait, is that roadkill pie? Slug in centipede gumbo? Braise back tacos with guacamole? Well, now, what have we got here? Either that mild swill Papa Batfield cooks up in his filthy outhouse. Come on down to Dingo's Diner. Food served at Dingo's Diner may not meet the legal definition of food. Consume at your own risk. <laughs> Side effects of dining at Dingo's Diner may include fatigue, increased body odor, risk-seeking behavior, thinking too much about your uncle, increased hunger, alienation from friends and family, skin irritation, ennui, leaky orifices, oozing orifices, flowing orifices. Boy, you like to stay out of my diner. Remembering that girl from high school. What's she up to? Do you think she's happy? And for a few moments, so bad. Yes, that's very funny. So many side effects from eating at this gentleman's diner. I think I'll pass. Yeah. Yes, I don't need all those problems. Okay, so yes, this is Dingo Dial. As you can see, we are not playing as Crash New. No. We are playing as this alligator. His name is Dingo and he owns a diner. And he's got a suck gun. But he doesn't really suck. No, he's pretty cool. But his gun sucks. Yes. So yeah, you can suck things in. You can use your gun as kind of like a little jet thing. You can kind of like glide. It's his gliding technique. Yeah, what do we do here? Yeah. Well, that's pretty obvious, isn't it? We blow it up. Oh, and then we die. Because there's a little bat there and I didn't really see him. Well, anyway. Round two. Oh no. Okay, Dingo, you bring us to victory. What? That's not victory, Dingo. You misheard me. You must have thought I said defeat. Oh no. You see, that's a mis it's a common, common misconception. See, I ask for victory, and then people give me defeat. No, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want defeat. I want, if I would have wanted defeat, I would have asked for a defeat. And I don't mean the feet. I don't care about people's feet, okay? That was a one-time thing. It's not really my thing. Just, you know, I was testing things. Anyway, no, enough of that. I, what was I saying? Oh, yes, yes. People give me defeat, and... I just want feet, you know. No, no, I don't want feet. I'm not, I'm not into that kind of thing. Honestly, I'm not. No, not feet. Ew, no. I'm, I'm more into victory. Yes, yes, that's it. Uh, geez, why, why are we talking about feet? Let's stop talking about feet and talk about victory. And that is what Dingo Dial is going to bring us this time, hopefully. You know... Of course, it's me playing Dingo Dial. Yes, that's the funny part. <laughs> yes, I'm bringing the victory and defeat myself. Haha, <laughs> yes, yes, Lord Jameson is silly. <laughs> and then there's boxes. We destroy boxes. Crash Bandicoot, you know, they're all about the boxes. They like big boxes. They like small boxes. They like in between boxes. They like white boxes. They like black boxes. They like Asian boxes. They like boxes from Japan. Well, I guess that's Asian boxes. They like European boxes. You know, it's uh, they, they just like boxes. And they like to stick their things in the boxes, you know? It's a good time. Everybody likes doing that, sticking their things in the boxes. Taking, taking their thing in and out, you know, of the boxes. 
<laughs> Sometimes you gotta like put things in boxes and take things out of boxes. And you know, so you know, I think what Crash likes to do most with boxes is stick his two little apples in there. Well, of course he has more than two apples. But sometimes he only has two apples. Oh no! It's a big winged demon. He thinks he's so tough. Look at him. He's like, oh, I'm so tough. You can't get past here. I am the gatekeeper. Oh, if you're the gatekeeper, then consider me a key. Oh, it's quite the explosion. Yeah, we'll get every last one of those bastards. Oh, look, it's a, it's a target. I wonder what I do with that. Hmm. Well, okay, obviously it's not that. Let's try it again. Oh, yes, that's, that's what we do with targets. Blow them up. Boom! Hey, it looks like this is a spider zone. Well, that spider's got six legs, so what is it? I'm, I'm talking about the sign back there. You can't see it anymore. There was a sign with an insect. It kind of looked like a spider, but spiders... Nah, never, never mind. Who cares? Let's move on. Hey, look, there's a target. But there's no box or crate or barrel or anything. I don't know. It's probably something up ahead. Where's the back end? Did I miss it? No, I don't see anything. There's nothing here. No, there's nothing there. See that sign right there? Like spider sign. Oh, boy. Oh, is that what I'm supposed to do? You know, those boxes, they just sit there, they sit there waiting to be broken. I wonder who puts the boxes and stacks them all nice and neat. Oh, it's over here. Let's take a look. Okay, it's just a little dead end. Oh, wait, there's more stuff over there. Oh, it's the hidden diamond. All right, excellent. Unfortunately, I died, so I got to do that again. Okay, going back to the diamond. 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 I'm going to get the diamond. Oh, the diamond is so pretty. Look at me go. I'm getting the diamond. There is no snow. It's a nice day. It's a diamond collecting thorn. I'm going to collect the diamond while I sing this song. Diamond, diamond, got to get my diamond. I need diamonds. Diamonds, all right. Lord Gamerson, Dimerson, Dimerson, Dimerson. Lord Gamerson is a Dimerson fight. Oh, he likes to collect all the diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, so many diamonds. Because the diamonds unlock cool skins. I think I'm getting ripped off. The diamonds are worth more than that. Oh my god, I'm buying skins with diamonds. Who am I giving the diamonds to for all these skins? And what are they doing with all the extra profit that I'm giving them? Oh my... Anyway. So, yes, yes. You got to uh, beat up these demon things. Oh. Oh, I thought that would hit him for sure. Come on, die! No, no. No, you seem to be invincible, little snail flying feather. Well, good for you. I suppose I can't blame you for your invincibility. You are quite mighty. You are a mighty flying snail. Of course, I'm talking to the snail that was shown on screen about two minutes ago. 
still stuck on the snail. Anyways, moving on. What do we see in front of us? Not those behind us. Uh, there's more boxes. Yeah, you know. I always think the snail's more interesting to talk about than boxes. There's just so many boxes. I mean, I, I wish there was something else. Maybe, maybe a Ziploc bag. Yes. Yes, why do we collect boxes when there's so many Ziploc bags out there ready to be gotten? I don't see any superheroes collecting any Ziplocs. No. No. They don't do it. They all collect boxes. Oh, the boxes is a thing. They all need their boxes. Oh, treadmill. Cool. Oh, that's not cool. I jumped on the green boxes. Yes. Somebody went to a lot of trouble to set up this environment. I'm not talking about the developers. I'm, I'm you know, I'm talking about in-game. Like, who was it? Is, was it Brio? Did Brio set this up? Oh, I don't know. I don't think he's clever enough. You know, maybe it was the big bad himself. Yes. I bet, you know, Dr. Cortex, he does seem like, um, quite the creative guy. I bet he set up these environments. Not the true big bad, you know, that weirdo with no personality that just wants to take over everything. I can't remember, he's, he's got like a weird body. Um, it's in the beginning of the game. You know, he's, he's the guy behind it all. Yes, it's actually not Cortex. No, he's more like um, a number one lackey. A vice president, I guess. That kind of a person. God damn, this target is hard. No! Come on! Oh, come on! This is so frustrating! Why can't I get it? Alright, gotta shoot way off. No, jeez, that time it went where I told it to. I figured if I shoot it off, it'll hit the target. Oh, finally. Oh, look, it's more snails! Hello, snails. Nice. Yes, that is nice. Take a look at that. I'm quite impressed myself. Whoa, that's some expert dodging. Yes, Lord Gamerson is an expert dodger. Oh, what's this? Oh, crap. I sucked in a green box. Well, let that be a lesson to you. Don't suck in the green boxes. Oh, that was close. You almost shot to the box in front of me. Well, that's a new way to die. The enemy shoots the green boxes. Hey, come on. Okay, that was useful. Not what I'm trying to do. Okay, good. That worked. Hey, what's this? Let's make more boxes up here. Oh, not those boxes. I don't like those boxes. Green. What? How did I get this? I was so far enough away from that. No, that's just not right. It's like they randomly increase the blast radius. Pain in the ass. Okay, you die. Die. Die! Good. I have a good death. Oh, brother. Okay, let's try it again. Nice. Oh. What? No. I didn't want to go in the water. Yes, yes, you die. Worthless. 
winged demon thing. God damn. Bastard. Okay, yeah, let's blast those out of the sky. We don't want those bastards around. Oh, more treadmills. What fun. We have so much fun here. Whoa, no, no, I don't like that. I'm avoiding that. Hey, look at that. The pool has, like, different colored lights. Must be some leftovers from that Mardi Gras level. Hmm, more boxes in the distance. Okay, yeah, so who wants to watch me play through each level for like three hours? Trying to figure out every box location. What? No, you don't. Oh, boy. Well, I don't really feel like doing it either. So, I'm not. That was the opposite of good. What is the opposite of good? I don't know. I usually only focus on good. Oh yes! Bad. That was bad. Yes, you die. You die too. Haha. <laughs> so many of them are dying. And I am their master executioner. Oh, well, actually, that guy's more of an executioner. Okay, this guy must die. Well, I was sure that would kill me. I was close enough for that to kill me. Not that I wanted it to. It was more like an accident. But I'm like, oh, as soon as I press the button, I'm like, oh, that's going to kill me. But it didn't. It did not kill me. It's kind of confusing because I was definitely close enough to be killed. Okay, yes. So, what do we do here? We blow this up. Yes, we'll blow up his machines. Come on, it's so hard to aim. Yes, good, good. I had to shoot. I had to not aim for that and shoot, aim for right beside it to hit it. Oh, come on. I know I can explode you. You just have explosion written all over you. Oh, but, you know, boxes. Gotta get the boxes. Okay, you have explosion on you. Yeah, I knew it. See? Explosion. They called me crazy. Oh, well... That sucks. So, it looks like Lord Gamerson is not getting a PlayStation 5 at launch. I've been trying, but I've been suffering the most uncanny bad luck. The first time... Well, I had recently moved, and I forgot to change my billing address with my bank. So, you know, they, they would not accept my pre-order the first time. And, you know, that was a while ago, and I changed my address and all that stuff at the bank, and updated it, and, you know, dotted my I's and crossed my T's, and made sure everything was fine. And yesterday, at 3 a.m., they were holding pre-orders once again. But... It was not to be, because even though I had changed my billing address, once I set the pre-order in motion, it said that I did not change my billing address. It's just so frustrating, you have no idea. 
And yes, yes, my billing address was changed. I checked afterwards again. It was all fine. I don't understand it. Just rotten luck. Rotten to the core. So, unfortunately, PlayStation...
What? 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 What?